When I say the phrase Call of Duty Battle Royale, it's very likely that Blackout from Black Ops 4 pops into your head. Released in late 2018, Blackout gave Call of Duty its very first steps into the Battle Royale subgenre, but it isn't the only Call of Duty game out at the moment that now features a Battle Royale mode. Enter Call of Duty Mobile. This game features a Battle Royale mode, and of course, with it being a mobile game, you can play with up to 99 other players in a Battle Royale on your phone. Call of Duty, 100 players, Battle Royale on your phone. Welcome to 2019. Now, I know it's a mobile game, and that might not be the sort of thing that you guys usually play, but you can believe me when I tell you that the mobile platform is the biggest gaming market in the world at the moment. Smartphones are in almost everyone's pocket these days, and the rise of mobile gaming has been happening for quite a few years now. This year, it's Call of Duty's turn to jump in on the action, and already, for Call of Duty Mobile, over 100 million people have downloaded the game in the first week. That's quite a big achievement. A big thanks to Activision for sponsoring this video today. If you want to check out Call of Duty Mobile for yourself, click the link at the top of the description. Okay then, so is this 100-person Battle Royale actually any good? Well, from the matches that I've played so far, it has been rather good fun, and it does feel like a Battle Royale game that's been built around the gameplay mechanics from the standard multiplayer that you can also play in Call of Duty Mobile, and it certainly doesn't feel like just some additional game mode thrown in to tick a box by the developers. It feels like a properly well-made game mode, and it feels like it was intended to be part of the game. Covering off the basics, you can play in solos, duos or squads matches, and you get the option to play in first or third person servers. For all of the matches that i played so far, I've just played in third person squads, and I let the game fill up my squad so I always had at least one teammate that, that I could play along with. The mode operates very much like you'd expect it to. You start by flying across a map, you para drop down, and then you start looting, you fight and you just try and win. It's very much classic Battle Royale. Your inventory system, that can be managed right from the game screen, and I barely ever felt like I needed to dive into any of the submenus to find what I wanted. Everything was just a touch or two away, which is really good for a mobile game. Having all of your options on the screen at any one time, and then having your fingers cover the portions of the screen, that's kind of an issue that all mobile games suffer from, but... With most of the controls mirroring the main multiplayer section of Call of Duty Mobile, the Battle Royale, it doesn't feel any more cumbersome or any more difficult by comparison. You just need to make sure you're paying attention to things like which weapon you've got selected or which grenade you've got selected in your inventory. One thing that I do quite like and I found quite valuable in this Battle Royale is the way that it handles loadouts. It's a little bit different from other Battle Royale mobile games. Call of Duty Mobile is using classes within the Battle Royale mode, giving you access to a different perk and a different kind of exclusive move. So, for example, I chose to play the Medic class for most of the matches that I've played so far, so if I got shot at, I'd have a way of healing myself in a different way. And the Medic class, that comes with a Medical Station perk. It's an AoE gadget that will heal players within a certain radius when it's activated, so that will heal you, the player who deployed it, and any other friendlies who are within that radius. So if you're playing duos or squads, maybe you want to call over your friends and you could all heal up behind some cover or something. Another class called Clown, a little bit of a weird name, it has a toy bomb that can be thrown at enemy players and that summons zombies onto the map and then they will go and attack any hostiles near them. There's then an ability that goes with that called Anti-Zombie and that will reduce the zombie aggression distance for all of the zombies on the map. And it's probably worth mentioning that, yes, Call of Duty Mobile has zombies in it, only within the Battle Royale mode. But don't worry, you can get rid of them pretty easily. Just shoot them a little bit and they'll fall in a heap in front of you. But it does keep you on your toes, I do have to say that. Besides the classes, you can also unlock a bunch of cosmetic items that are going to jazz up your chosen soldier. And you can also change out your soldier as well for different ones that you've got access to. Items like your parachute, your wingsuit, your backpack, they can all have different camos on them. And you can also go into the weapon menus, you can apply different camos to your guns, so that when you pick up those guns in matches, they're going to be shown with that camo on them. There's lots for you to unlock, there's lots that you can customise, and you can use premium currency, which you can buy for real money, to unlock some more cosmetics if you want to. 
The general gameplay of the Battle Royale is somewhat slower than the standard multiplayer within Call of Duty Mobile. You're obviously spread out over a much bigger area. There are going to be times where you're going to be going two to three minutes without seeing anybody. But when you do get into gunfights, it's not like you're getting obliterated the moment you get shot at. Most of the time, people are shooting at you from a good 30 or 40 meters away. That gives you plenty of time to get into cover, analyze the situation, pick the right weapon, and then maybe start shooting back. There is one thing that caught me by surprise when I was playing. There's these boss fight locations that are dotted around the map that you can get involved with. You'll be able to find them by looking for these flares on the ground. And if you enter the boss fight zone, an airdrop will come in and that boss will then be unleashed. This one here that I managed to capture, we got a zombie Cerberus and that started attacking us and it ended up taking down one of our squad. I don't think we actually ever killed it either. I kind of had to run away because I ran out of ammo very, very quickly. But it definitely caught me by surprise because I just didn't expect to have boss fights within a battle royale. I thought the main threat was going to be other enemy players, but this boss was a lot harder to kill than an other enemy player. I wouldn't recommend going for one of these boss fights unless your squad is well coordinated. And definitely, if you're playing solo, you, you should stay clear of it because you're probably going to die if you go in that zone. Now, if you are a diehard big Call of Duty fan, you are going to notice that the map here in the Battle Royale mode is made up of a bunch of smaller different multiplayer maps from older titles in the Call of Duty franchise going all the way back to COD 4. Kill House is in there, Crash is there, Shipment, Overgrown, Nuketown and a few more that you are going to recognize. This is an approach that Blackout used in Black Ops 4 and it got a lot of praise for doing so and I think here in mobile there will be plenty of other players who are going to take comfort in knowing some of those locations before they even jump into their first match say they know the kill house location really really well or they played a lot of crash back in the day you can jump into those locations and it's laid out in a very similar format so if you know those maps you're going to know that location on the map when it comes to moving around that map, there are zip lines in certain places that will speed up your movement or they'll get you up to higher ground a little bit faster. They're always a really handy escape route if you get yourself into trouble. And there are vehicles in the game as well. ATVs, they're great for if you just want to outrun the zone or you want to get away from a bunch of enemies. Or if you're feeling brave, you can jump into a helicopter and you can get right across the map that much faster. Graphically, it does look and feel like a Call of Duty map, just that much larger. It's got that quintessential style that a lot of people, I think, are quite used to when it comes to Call of Duty games. And although you are playing a Battle Royale, so the larger scale that takes you out of the 5v5 arena style shooter zones that Call of Duty does so well, there's still plenty happening around you to remind you that you are playing a Call of Duty game. I especially like the fact that the game uses callouts to let you know what's happening with your squad mates. If they're shooting at somebody, it's gonna read a voice line to you that says they are shooting at somebody. Or if they're shot down, it will read out another one to let you know that they're down on the ground and they need to be revived. That voice is constantly letting you know what's happening and it does help to fill out some of those longer stretches of time where there's no action really happening. Like with any battle royale, it can feel quite lonely sometimes. So that added voice, it just helps to fill out those sections. So bringing that all back together then for one final opinion here, I'm not a huge mobile gamer myself, but I do have to say I am quite impressed with what the battle royale mode in Call of Duty Mobile actually does. Off the top of my head, I can't think of any corners that it cuts when you compare it to other battle royale games out there on some of the more powerful platforms like console and PC. It manages to deliver a very playable and fun experience without compromising on pretty much anything, which is very, very commendable indeed. For someone who maybe has a long commute on the train or a bus on the way to work or something, or if you're just someone who really likes to play first-person shooter games whenever they get the chance, then this is a good, solid Battle Royale experience that, that you should try out. But that's about it for today, guys. Call of Duty Mobile is free to play and download. There is a link below at the top of the description that you can click on if you want to go and check out the game for yourself. And a big thanks to Activision for sponsoring this video. Let me know down in the comments if you've played the game, if you haven't. Let me know what you're thinking so far. If you're just starting out, drop me some comments down below. 
If you enjoyed the video, drop it a like or a dislike if you didn't, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.